Hey everyone. So this is going to be part one of my Replicator 5 uh, MakerBot um, clipper modification and all that kind of stuff. So I did receive the printer a few weeks ago and I've designed a tool head for the printer and I'm going to go over that right here in this part. So essentially what I've done is I've actually used the existing mount here. So this is the existing Replicator 5 mount that mounts to the linear rail. The only modification I've made is I've just cut off this, um, there was like a little loop here that protruded just so I had room for my 3010 fan. So what I've done is I've actually made an adapter here, this orange piece that bolts directly to this plate and it uses the existing motor mount screws here for the NEMA 17 motor that would have been here for the direct drive. So this way I know the mount is nice and straight. I've added some heat inserts into this mount. There's three screw points here. And then I have a um, groove mount here. I'm running a 40 millimeter Noctua fan. Uh, I prefer Noctua fans, especially printing PLA. They work great, they're super quiet, and they last forever. This is a high flow Dragon hot end. Just running standard uh, 24 volt heater here and a 3950 thermistor. As I said before, I'm just gonna have a single fan on the side here for part cooling and we'll see how it goes. So yeah, very simple uh, implementation. Works very, very well so far. Only thing I need to do here is I'm waiting for BL Touch and I'm going to actually mount a bracket on the back here for the BL Touch mount. So my BL Touch should be here in a couple hours. So that should only take about five minutes to design and then that'll have BL Touch uh, auto leveling here in this as well. So I already have Clipper ready to go on the MakerBot 5. That will be in part two. We'll go over what I had to change there, the whole printer, we'll see it printing, that type of thing. But um, the reason why I went with a Bowden and got rid of direct drive is a couple different reasons. Um, I wanted the tool head to be kind of lightweight. I didn't really know what the MakerBot had for motion system. Um, as we'll see in part two, it's actually pretty robust. So that's probably a non-issue. Non Secondly, I did want this to be compatible with a lot of different hot ends. Um, and if I go Bowden, this way, if someone else wants to implement this on their MakerBot, they can use any extruder they want and just mount it anywhere on the printer. You don't need a custom like Sherpa Mini on here if that's what I designed it for, or like a BMG um, dual gear extruder here, like you would have to have one of those extruders. Because it's Bowden now, essentially you can print these brackets out, use any groove mount hot end and any extruder you have, mount it anywhere on the printer and it'll work. So this way a lot more people can utilize this if they do want to. Um, this groove mount will work with genuine E3D hot ends and any Dragon or any groove mount hot end. Be careful of E3D clone hot ends they are actually longer than the regular E3D. So while it probably will still work, cooling might be a little bit reduced because it will stick out the bottom. But any genuine E3D V6 will work. Like I say, I'm running a Dragon hot end here. A Dragonfly would work fine. Essentially any groove mount here. So this way, yeah, anyone, just grab whatever groove mount hot end you have. You can, that'll install in there, no problem. And then any extruder you have, BMG, you know, a crowd, old Crowdy extruder, as long as you can drill a couple holes into the MakerBot frame and mount it, run your Bowden tube, you're good to go. So that's the number one reason why I actually did a groove mount and also did a Bowden style, even though the MakerBot 5 was direct drive. Um, I definitely could have done direct drive on here, but I felt that, um, it, it, it would be much better just to uh, maybe give it a little bit more compatibility with things. So that's why I did uh, Bowden. Maybe in the future I'll uh, redesign this and I'll actually add like a Voron tool head to, the, to this and uh, make it really cool. But um, I just wanted to get this running here, see how well it prints and that type of thing. So that's it for part one. If anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to comment below and uh, look out for part two. Thanks again, everyone.